If you are growing vegetables, you're likely growing weeds as well. And here I'm slightly embarrassed to show you our very weedy garlic patch. It won't be weedy for long, but let me tell you a little bit about annual weeds versus perennial weeds versus biennial weeds. And knowing the difference will make a big difference in how you weed. And so let's dive right in. Here we have a lot of different things and I'm excited to show you. Um, we have some annuals and annuals are plants that grow from seed to seed all in one season. And they're generally incredibly prolific. A pigweed plant can produce up to 40,000 seeds um, in a season, which just makes my skin start to itch even thinking about it. Um, also, they're easy to kill. They have very generally shallow fi fibrous root systems, so they're very easy to kill, pull up, and the best time to kill them without a question is when they're young. So here are the annuals in our collection. We have one of my favorites lamb's quarter. This is a very young specimen and in its prime for edibility. It tastes just like spinach and I love to eat it raw or especially cooked. Um, but that is a quality annual. And another annual, this velvet leaf plant is so lovely. Little heart-shaped leaves with this. They're so soft. Here's one that's a little bit larger for you to take a look at. Another annual and you can see how easy, even how much bigger that plant was, how easily it just pulled right out. And here's a little pigweed. Um, this pigweed is, again, so much larger, but pulled right out as it does at any stage of its life cycle. And this is another delicious one, although this is a little bit larger than I like to eat it at. But think of it as a slightly less succulent spinach very green, very mineral flavor. Eating your weeds is one of the best ways to weed them. This is another one of my favorite annual weeds. Chickweed is so delicious. It has this bright green succulent flavor. And here are some of those um, long stems. They're quintessential tapering leaves. And they have these lovely little, they're closed now, but they have lovely little white star-shaped flowers. And it is also has a very shallow root system. Who else do we have here? Dead nettle, purple dead nettle, henbit. This is an annual that grows really fast, predominantly just in spring. And before it really starts to flower too much and that green is still green, they haven't turned yellow. This is delicious, although I don't recommend eating it raw. I love to cook it ever so slightly. And so those are your annuals and of course, there's a lot of others. I'll have them on a list below. But in our, this little section, those are the annuals. And then we have the perennials that have a long, deep taproot. And the best way to get rid of your perennial weeds is by actually removing the taproot. With those annuals, if you chop their heads off, they will just die. If your apical, apical bud is removed, they don't have the reserves in their root system to survive <coughs> and regrow. Unlike your perennials. So this dandelion is a perennial that will be there for a good long time. Dock is another weed that will be there for a long time. And take a look at this dandelion that I just dug up. If I had, even if I had taken it down that much, um, and its apical bud is deep in here, but even if I had taken it down to this level, it still would have regrown from this taproot. So if you have, if you're struggling with perennial weeds, know that it is absolutely imperative that you get out your trowel, get out your shovel and remove the actual root yourself. And then you have, oh, another fun fact, bindweed is so maddening. I hope you don't have bindweed. And if you do know that it's a perennial so that it's not just taking back those leaves, you need to actually remove the roots themselves. And finally, we have biennials. And biennials are those that will grow vegetatively the first season, lots of foliage, and over winter, and that second year, they will produce their flowers and seeds. So garlic mustard is a perennial. Um, other, uh, pardon me, garlic mustard is a biennial. And other biennials that we have, um, burdock you'll often see, Queen Anne's lace is an, a 
biennial. And so, yeah, it's kind of, and that gets into a bit of a gray area because is it in its first year? Is it in its second year? A, a biennial in its first year, you can just take off those top uh, leaves and you'll be killing the plant. That second year, you'll only be killing it if you're removing that root. So as much as you can stay on top of your weeds every year so that all of your biennials are being um, taken care of at that first season, so much the better. And as a general rule, it's best to weed, not when it's this moist, you can see the moisture on all the plants. These roots, if we uproot them, will very readily take and regrow when they hit that warm, uh, moist soil, especially on these cloudy, overcast days. So you wanna wait till a hot, dry day to weed. And by knowing all, whether you're weeding annuals, biennials, or perennials will vastly help improve your weeding strategies.